establishes firm grip over the hearts and minds of mankind if all Jesus had ever said was from something. Just a dream, perhaps. Your guy. I have a hard time comprehending what exactly a lucid dream does to me. <laughs> that same insane feeling of knowing that something's got a grip of you. Knowing full well that it will never up until it's over. It's just, it's just, it's just one way I think of death as a joke. Cause lucid dreams could be a joke to me. Lucid dreams mean nothing. Lucid dreams, well, get the better of me. I'm gonna be honest. Gotta be straight frank. I don't know what I'm gonna do if this doesn't work out. I don't exactly know what's gonna happen if I fuck up. I don't know what happens. I don't know what's gonna happen if life somehow gets the better of me and we get sidetracked and, and we get the fame to sidetrack us. Yeah. Believe me, it wouldn't be the first time, it wouldn't be the second time, it wouldn't be the last time that I got sidetracked by something. But this, this here, this is my total distraction from anything. It's a total distraction of what was real, what is real, and what wasn't real in the first place. This, this huge void that's between the both of us, it's bigger than what you think it looks like. It's probably something you would find in some hill, but nonetheless, it it's, has a clear sound. And we all have to figure out exactly what it wants. The difference, the difference between this void and us lives forever. These videos live forever, and you guys know that. What if they're not worth it? What if nothing's worth it? What if this isn't worth it? What if I'm way over my head? I've asked myself that question the very first episode I did this. Am I way over my head? Am I going too far with this? Should I not go through with this? The only reason that I did go through with this is because I had no one to turn to. It was because when I was alone, I 
found a way to feel better. If, if I have to be the only one to pick myself off the ground, then fine. This channel's coming with me, and every single one of you will come with me. And you guys know that. But I know I can't do this alone. I know I just can't do it between just you and I. I know I, have, I, know I can't do it all by myself. So, I brought in an alter ego. You know him and you love him. And one day I would like to come face to face with him. Maybe one day we'll come to a sense of mind. Maybe we'll come to an agreement. Maybe, maybe, maybe this is too much. I mean, it's so much, it's so much responsibility to, to comprehend on. And it's, it's, I know, I know for a fact that I should not be over my head. I know exactly what I'm doing. I know exactly how it should feel. Because in high school, I was a man. And I look myself in the mirror and all I see is a fucking pansy looking down at me. It's not because of the channel, it's because, it's just because I did nothing in my life. I have done nothing. Everyone has passed me by, everyone has pushed me away. Where else can I go? What, how far could I really go? In the end, I guarantee you, in the end, I think it's worth it. For many of reasons. Push me away. All of you push me away. Since the beginning of time. And it may have been my fault. It may have been my fault from the very beginning. But I could take everything back in just a heartbeat if I wanted to. All the mistakes. All the vendettas. Everything. I know what I'm capable of doing and I know what I'm not capable of doing. One thing I do miss doing is fighting. And I'm gonna fight with every bit of it. I'm gonna fight with every bit of my being, hopefully, to be the only one standing tall. I want a fight. I want a fight and none of you have given me a fight. Yeah, we've been down this path before. Shut your mouth. I know that I can be better. I know that I'm letting everything just bottle up inside me and just let me just punch myself out. Let me just knock myself out. I'm done doing that. It doesn't do no justice. This, this means nothing to me. The more I could just beat myself up, the more I could just punch myself in the face, the more I could just try to knock myself out, it doesn't do any justice. I close my eyes, and all I see is lucid dreams of something that I did not see before. And everything that I see, it's either a dream, or a lucid dream, or something that once was. I don't want to see memories of what once was. I am not what was something. I am something, and I will prove it to the very end. But I can't do this alone. I want more than most men. I want more than being me. I want my family.
Miscreant. I'm calling to you. This is a war. You know this. This is a war. We all know this. Miscreant. I want my family. As a cold, black, dark reminder of what you used to be. See, I applaud you. I applaud you for bringing me back into this world for reasons that we could talk about for days. And no matter how I used to say how poetic it was, this, this has soon to become a structure unrecognizable. This structure, my friend, we are going down the right path. See, between me and Andiva, we both have the same similarities. The cold-hearted traits, the dark sensibility, creep oneself out or to entertain and the way to succeed in our own little ways. If we don't get what we want, we'll take what we want. See, the vertical, the vertical dysphagia here is that none of you have been able to comprehend back what's been given to you. See, you can be able to comprehend the videos from 2019, but I need you to comprehend the videos you've seen this year so far. I mean, look what's happening. No more limits, no more season finales, no more bits of shit to have us Render, surrender. This is, isn't what you think it is anymore. This isn't some playground. This isn't some back and forth seesaw between me and Indigo. No. This, this is a calling both of us. We need this. We want this. And no matter where we turn, we always find darkness by the end of the road. We're looking for answers. We're looking for solutions. We're looking for suggestions. We're looking for an explanations. Explanations that we, as a family, we need answers to. This, this is our little world and you're living in it. You're joining in on this experience with us. Maybe, who knows, in the future, the family could grow bigger. The family could grow, the, the family could grow your egos could be endless and yet you'd be living in our own little world no matter how snarly and no matter how cruel no matter how condescending you try to be you always look for the positivity and for those 30 subscribers on this channel you understand what it means you know what it means 
for us to succeed. You know what we have to do and what, we, what it would have to take for us to get there. This isn't, this isn't some playground no more. The burials are happening, the burials will mean it. And if I have anything on our minds, I guarantee you that we will speak it. There is no right from wrong, there is no good video, there is no bad video, there is only the purgatory that we lay ourselves in, we make our beds, and that is how we're gonna get things done around here. Palmer, you haven't seen a nightmare. You think all your lucid dreams that you keep having every single night, the things that make you go bump right into the night, you think that you've seen a nightmare. No. This, this right here is a lucid dream. You're living in. Wake up. Try to wake up. You're stuck. You're not here games. You're stuck in our own little experience with us or without us. And as for the newcomers, I hope that one day, I hope that one day you look towards these videos. As for the newcomers, I Plead, I beg, that you look for the positivity within the channel. Because Palmerin doesn't understand positivity. The only thing that they understand is pregnancy. Not perfection. The dysphagia of this is that no matter what we do, no matter how big the family grows, no matter what happens on this channel, you've seen it with your own two eyes. I hope it was worth it. You know they say, you know, they say a picture is worth a thousand words. But I can only create anarchy in five. So, Palmerin, I beg of you. I beg of you to get the shit out of your minds, to get all of that negativity out while you still can, because regardless, I'm still here. And the thing is, I'll be way in over your head. We will be way in over your head. tell you that it's only just beginning. Stimulus complete. Accessing Vertical Regeneration.